Amazing knock today. Um, you, five innings in, you're in super form. Have you felt in better, Nick? There was a, a few comments around that your, your techniques sharpen up. Have you felt as good as you, you have right now? Oh, I think any time that you, that you manage to get a few runs, you feel pretty good about your game. And, um, and my technique's probably tightened up slightly. There's been a few technical things that I've worked on that, that are, they're just working at the moment. Sometimes, sometimes you, you change some things, but you don't get rewarded straight away with, with the hard work you put in, in the nets and uh, behind the scenes. So, yeah, it's been nice to get a little bit of, um, little bit of positive reinforcement, I think, from, from my game. What's Ricky Ponting, what's he, what effect has he had on you in the time you worked together so far in this tournament? Yeah, he's been great. He's been great for all the players, um, not just myself, not just the batters, like ev everyone. He's, he's been brilliant around the group. Uh, Shri Ram has been fantastic. Uh, I've worked with him quite a bit, obviously JL a lot as well. So, I mean, there's, there's days when you just have different access to different coaches. So, so you work with everyone equally. Uh, so it's not just because Pun is here, blokes are playing better that, that, that might have a lot to do with it because he puts a lot of work in but all the coaches put a lot of work in so um, but the answer to the question is yeah it's, it's been great to have him around no doubt um, Aaron Australia has this history of captains or like larger than life characters but generally when you speak to people about you they just say ah, Aaron just keeps it simple but how have you seen your style and makes me sound pretty boring doesn't it <laughs> It does actually, but like, yeah. <laughs> but like, how have you seen your influence and style uh, of captaincy over this team evolve over the last twelve months uh, and leading into the World Cup? Uh, that's a good question. I, I don't, I don't tend to take on too much um, outside of the the actual captain's duties. I mean, you, you do the, you do all the planning as a group, uh, the preparation, every, everything you do is done as a group. I think. Um, We've got some great leaders in our in our squad as well, which, which really helps out. That that everyone everyone acts and and prepares and trains and and looks after each other like a leader. So that's it's I would say my influence is minimal. Um, it's more about everyone buying into the to the culture and and doing the job that's asked of them really well. And and it's it's uh, it's a good a good environment to be in at the moment. There's there's a lot of good guys that are. That are doing a lot of good things behind the scenes. Aaron, at the end of the Australian summer, which was you know, end of a pretty well uh, torrid and and you can say it. period. Okay, it was rubbing. No, <laughs> um, it was it was a tough period where you're changing formats, everything else. You spoke about being perhaps tentative in thought processes and in technique as well. Yeah. Is today's innings? Do you think it's the culmination of kind of coming back from that? And what, what do you think was key in the time between the end of the Australian season and now? Uh, I think the time in Dubai, or in the UAE, the series against Pakistan was, was really good. The end of the, the Indian series was, was really good as well in the one days. I probably just changed my mindset a little bit more than anything. There was, I started to doubt my game a lot before that, uh, along in the Australian summer, and there was, there was a lot of times when when I was just questioning every single decision that I was making, whether it was technical, mental, physical, like everything that, that I could, that I was doing, I was just questioning because cause you're looking for an answer that, that you don't know what the answer is. So, so it can be really tough at times when, when you don't know what the end result is, but you're searching so hard for something you don't know. So, so that in, it's a, it was a really great learning, learning for me over the summer. Obviously, it would have been nice to, to have that at 22 and not 32, but I think overall, the, what I learned is, was you can strip it back as much as you want, but it doesn't change the basics of the game. The base, basics is an opening batter to go out there and defend the good ball and score runs. So um, for me, I was looking for everything other than just what the, the, the most basic thing, which is watch the ball and, and, and react to it. I mean, you can, you can butter it up anyway, but... I was just going back to the basics, going back, getting, doing a little bit of mental work on, on changing my mindset to, to just be positive. And, and Andrew McDonald always says to me, if you, if you get caught at mid on or you get caught at first slip, you're still out. So play your natural game. Aaron, uh, Steve Smith looks really, really intense when he bats out there. Well, can you give us the insight on what it's like batting with him? Does that attitude rub off on you sometimes or do you need a take a bit of a step back? And uh, his, first, his first 10 balls, 20 balls, he's, he's very intense. Obviously, 
you, you'll notice guys at the non-strikers and usually stand on the on the wicket. You you get a bit more grip when you're running between wickets as well. But you'll notice when Steve starts his innings, you you get pushed further and further wider. So uh, he doesn't like to have anything in his anything just basically within miles of of his view. So. Um, but once once you start to get into the to the partnership and the partnership starts flowing, then then you get a bit more of a um, he he lightens up, he relaxes, and you have a little bit of banter uh, in the middle, which is quite nice. Sure. Uh, Aaron, what did sort of the quicks I guess learn today from the early onslaught from Sri Lanka? And is not having an all rounder impacting on whether you play a spinner at the moment? Uh, yes, it is. Um, we're close to really close to playing a spinner today and going with three quicks a spinner and and maxi as well but it was we just felt that the wicket wasn't going to offer any spin and, and with a short boundary if you and the wind turned out was going straight across to that short boundary if if we played a, an extra spinner you, you're going to be pretty vulnerable if they get a left and right hand combination in at times so uh, we felt that the fourth quick was going to be a bit more of a asset to us which i think it turned out that it was um, I forgot the first part of your question. Was... Oh, sorry. Uh, you have to be really adaptable quicker. Um, I think we went in with a plan to... We felt as though if we bowled good test match line and length that you would be able to... That there would be enough there. Then they got hit off that length and we, we went shorter rather than fuller, um, which was probably a defence mechanism first to, to go a touch shorter, try and protect the straight boundaries and... and get some men out in the boundary and, and really defend that way. So once we once we went fuller and, and it was we had a bit more protection square of the wicket, but we bowled fuller with the with the straight men up and it felt like that's when we started to really rein it back in and, and really stop the scoring. Um, so I think it's just you just have to keep changing it up and chopping and changing your plans as well as your your bowlers and, and your execute like sorry, you want to execute all the time but Naturally, we go shorter first rather than fuller, and, and today was was a good learning for our boys to to bless you to go fuller, go fuller as well. Um, you you bring in more modes of dismissal than you bring in LB and bold, which, which are two huge huge percentage dismissals. So um, when when you go defensive and you're on the back and you're putting them, you're bowling back of a length, you're only really looking for caught behind or or a mistake from the batter. So um, that, was probably, that was probably a lesson for us. Aaron, can you describe the emotions when you did bring up the 100 today? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's, that's nice. It's always nice to get 100 and, and contribute to a win. Um, well, it doesn't, honestly, it doesn't really bother me if I get 99 or 100. It, it doesn't make a huge amount of difference to me personally. It, as, as long as you get yourself in a, in a position to, to help the team win, that, that's, what, that's what I'm more worried about. Um, obviously, that's better than getting none. Don't get me wrong. It's was, it was nice to to get a hundred. It, it, it just doesn't. It doesn't. Winning the game is is far more important than than getting 100, a hundred a personal milestone. But it was actually nice to kick on past a hundred and and get one fifty and and go a little bit deeper than probably what I have. I've, I've done it a couple of times recently in Dubai, but other hundreds have been a hundred and four, five, ten around that mark that that an they obviously help get yourself into a good position, but, but getting a 150 probably allows your side to go a little bit deeper and, and go a bit harder with um, with your middle order. Aaron, uh, Sri Lankan uh, team manager, he complained to the ICC about pitch, uh, but uh, Sri Lanka team batting also very well today. Yeah. What do you think about pitch? I thought the, the pitch played beautifully today. I thought it was um, a played... I thought I thought with it with how dry it was underneath, it might spin a little bit more as the game went on, um, which it didn't. It played beautiful all day. Maybe a little bit of rain at the start of the Sri Lankan innings helped that. Um, but if you play enough here at the Oval, you know that once when there's a nice covering of grass on it, it keeps a bit of pace and carry in the wicket, which which you need. Otherwise, they turn into pretty slow and boring boring type games where there's all the guys are in front of the wicket. You're bowling stump to stump and. And it's not very attractive cricket. So, at times you can walk out there and think that the wicket looks looks like it's going to seam around and and it's going to be a minefield for the for the batters. And they actually play a lot better than they look at at times. And and I think credit to the groundsman. He's he's had 
the covers on here for a long a long time. There's been a lot of rain around London over the last few days, so to produce a, a beautiful wicket like that and a, a good cricket wicket all round um, with as limited preparation as he had, I think it was a great effort. Aaron, you're um, you're four and one after five games, and you played five games in in two weeks. So you sort of relieved that heavy stretch is is over. And, and where do you think you you sit in the grand scheme of things as you sort of take stock at the halfway mark? Yeah, it's it's been a busy period. I, I know that the boys are looking for, looking forward to an extra day off. Um, travel tomorrow up to Knotts. Um, not much planned on Monday. I think the boys will get out and play some golf or, or relax however they want to do that. Train Tuesday, Wednesday, play Thursday. So it's, um, it's still a busy period, no doubt, but it does, it's not as hectic as it has been the last two weeks, like you said. So when, when, you're, when you're playing really good cricket, it's nice to be playing all the time and, and it feels like the back-to-back -back games are, are really good because you just get, you get on a roll, you get in the playing, the playing mode. So... Um, but the, I think the boys do need that extra day. We'll, we'll do the world of good uh, in the next few days just to mentally refresh as much as anything because it, it's been a lot of time on a bus and a lot of time in cricket change rooms. So um, I think if we, we would have taken it, no doubt, at the start of the tournament. You, you want to win every game, but it, it's unrealistic, I think, at times to, to think that you're just going to walk in and, and win every game of a tournament in, in a in conditions like this so um, yeah we're happy where we're sitting but but definitely time to sit back and, and assess where we can improve and, and what we can do over the next couple of weeks to to give ourselves the best chance to to be standing on the Lord's balcony on the 14th of July. Aaron two parts if I may cheat the system slightly firstly is how's Coults is it just soreness general yep, soreness? Yeah just just it was just stiff and sore he'd been flagging a little bit over the last couple of games uh, obviously over the summer he, he had limited well his his bowling loads and stuff were quite limited with with what he could do so that, that was just he was um he was managed well not managed but he was um he, he was stiff and sore yeah and secondly um glenn maxwell before you became captain he he barely bowled for australia for a couple of years there obviously you've seen him at victoria and now you rely on him to bowl 10 overs a day and he bowled pretty well i mean was that something you always thought that Glenn was capable of doing more of, or is it something that he's developed in his bowling in the last six months? Uh, I, I think that he's, his bowling has improved. But if we go back to the last World Cup, he was our, for the majority of the games, he was our only spinner. Xavier Doherty played in the, in the game against Sri Lanka at the SCG, which was a high-scoring run, run fest, really. Um, apart from that, Maxi was our, our only spinner, so he's always been capable of it. I think... At the time when Steve was captain, Travis Head was in the side as well. So that, so that was just a different option. And, and, and I think that just comes down to, to personal preference on, on who, you, who you prefer as a bowler, as the captain. So um, I think Smithy obviously rated Heddy's bowling a, a little bit more. And that's fine. That happens. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's an on-the-day decision. But, yeah, I think Max, he's, he's done really well when he's had the opportunity. He, he was a big part in us reining it in today. Uh, Two lefties. He had a, he had a nice breeze to bowl with, or to bowl across that that allowed him to drift the ball quite a bit, which which made it um, made it. He could shut down one side of the ground a bit easier. Thanks, everyone. Thanks guys. Thank